I conna your look, dear. Something's champing at ye. I've been telling folks I'm all right. But the truth is, thinking about face and Aethys keeps me up at night. I, I expect so. Tis a stouter feat than braving that eld bone bag, Theos. Didn't think much rattle you. And so you shouldn't. Someone's got to keep the lad on his feet. That's just an old habit. He can stand on his own now. I like him to think so. He loses himself at times. I didn't want he should con it, but... <sighs> Tis a right chore keeping the lad from himself. But someone's got to show him his limits, eh? Well, you're a gentler soul than you let on. I wish more people could see it. Most folk judge only by their gaping and gobbing. Not so with you. <laughs> I had you wrong, too. Up till recently. But I'm glad to know you now. Fay, dear, there's plenty of in economy. Tisn't always easy being stuck in this one's bone back. Nothing and no one to myself. If matters were otherwise, I could see a lass like me with a right fine lad like yourself. I you always thought you were special, too. Shame you're stuck where you are. Gets a lass to wonder in. Ah, fie and cock's feathers, pay me no heed. Hey, you can ask me. I've wondered what it might feel to have your arms twine in me, your lips on mine. Uh, huh. I didn't think you meant... Wouldn't Aloth mind? You didn't con him as I do. Poor lad has a kind, trusting heart. He wants that I should be happy. If that's... if that's how he feels, I want you to be happy too. What exactly are you doing? Aloth? Who else would I be, you idiot? <laughs> oh, your face, dear. Only thing finer in seeing it is feeling this lad's ire. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Fie, what's that I feel? Might it be a kindling where? I think we can all agree to forget that ever happened. Yeah, this all makes a lot more sense now, looking back. <sighs> You'd think they both would have grown out of it by now. Adair and Isselmere, you've seen how they're always carrying on. I've come to expect better from her, but Adair seems to bring out her worst. I'm loath to admit it, but yes. I hardly care what those two rubes think. Of them? You must be choking. It's just... There's something about it that brings me back to our time in the Deerwood. Perhaps for you. You cured your awakening and ended up with a keep. For a while. <clears throat> I remember the lost, fretful person I was then. I don't enjoy it. But I've changed. Even if Adair hasn't. You give him too much credit. As a matter of fact, you give everyone too much credit. You've clearly seen plenty that I haven't. <sighs> Very well. I'll do as you suggest. In any case, thank you. I should have expected as much from you. You, of all people, are counseling restraint? You make it sound so simple. I'll try. In any case, thank you for listening. <sighs> I can always count on you to appeal to reason, can't I? <sighs> I should know to expect the hard truth from you by now. I suppose you're right. Consider my expectations duly lowered. That's hardly fair, but I won't waste my breath. Anyhow, thank you for listening. I suppose this is my problem to solve, after all. Nevertheless, thank you for listening. I'm a little worried about Aloth. I think the strain of the journey is getting to him. He's not his usual self. The old Aloth used to really like it when we made fun of him. He'd just stand there real quiet with his mouth sort of twitching and his eyes real big like he couldn't believe how good we were getting him. But the new Aloth doesn't just sit and take it. It's like he's losing his sense of humor. No, not all of it. There's the leaden key. We went all the way through the Deerwood to stop them. And now Aloth just picks up where Theos left off. 
The lead and key. I don't need to tell you what they did. Just about everything I ever cared about back home, they ruined it. And what do you suppose Aloth's been up to these last few years? And why do you suppose he's back here, with us? I don't like thinking this way. I'm just not at ease since we, uh, happened to come across him. I'm not saying we gotta do anything crazy, but maybe we need to be more careful around him. I don't know. Something doesn't sit right is all. You telling me you don't have suspicions? You're right. I was there to see it. Just needed reminding is all. He did, once. But seeing as how he replaced Theos, it makes you wonder about his reasons. That doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence. Not sure we wouldn't be better off just hiring somebody. <laughs> Eloth's about as far from Theos as it gets. Uh, it does give me some hope. Yeah, I'd like to believe that. But it seems more likely the leaden key would change Aloth than the other way around. <clears throat> well, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, fair enough. I'll have to think on it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Well, sure, but you don't want to dig in, see if you can solve the problem? All right, all right. I'll, uh... I'll see what I can do. Crone? Aloth? How? He still does that thing with his hands. He still, you know... Although I guess he's set about taking apart the leaden key. Can't see old Aloth doing something like that. And he does say what's on his mind more. Like now, he tells us when he has to relieve himself instead of disappearing from the campsite and getting us all worried. <sighs> I see your point. Gonna miss old Aloth, though. He was a lot of fun. That's exactly what Isselmir said, too. I can't imagine both of you being wrong. See, that's not what he says. But I like your way better. All right. I think that straightens some things out. 